stuff to make that freaking thing. Yeah, you do. Rotorcraft doesn't take forever, though. That's the good thing about it. Like, it takes a little bit, but it doesn't, like, just take forever. At least. See, when, when I think of rotary, I think of the rotary engine. I know. That's what I always think of, too. It throws me off. Dorito power. <laughs> Dorito power. It's like, whenever I see an RX-7, I'm like, Dorito power! Like, yeah. uh, like a Japanese guy, I said like a Japanese... Is that iron? Wait. Uh, yeah, right here. Yeah. You got a pickaxe? Alright. Yeah. Don't I've been, I've been kind of collecting the copper. Gotta watch out yeah. for that Galactic Craft copper, though. It don't collect. Doesn't? No, it, 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 it's a higher tier than oh. stone. So you find sapphires, by the way, and you can mine them when we get a, um EE system up. They're, um, okay. the EE systems, they're actually worth a, um, they're actually worth a lot of EMC. Okay, so the real craft copper kind of looks like hardened ores copper, and it threw me off for a second. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Get the fuck away from me. Uh, uh, stuck in the hole. I'm sorry, there's a hole there, by the way. Yeah. Thought I'll let you know. Yeah, that would have been good. There you go. Is this, is this collapsing? No. Uh, okay. It caves won't actually collapse in this. I, I got that disabled for reasons involving Bradley. Um, and me, yeah. of course. Bradley and me are the whole reason why I had to disable that. I might re-enable that for. Actually, I don't even think I have Environment in here anymore to have that. To tell the truth, There's so much sapphire here. And this is in the middle of the village, or like right on the outside of it. If you remember. Here's Zambies, so. Yeah, they're underground. Kind of. Uh, no! My, my right click button, like, stuck. Oh no. Hey, stop tipping my cows. You Have you ever done Botania? No, I have not. That might be something fun for you to do. You get to pick flowers. You get to be a flower what girl. What is that? No oh, it's a beehive. I say that's just a bee. Don't worry. Raiding Come village. On. I'd kill you, but I can't. These guys actually have anything good? Not really. See, so what are they looking for? They are looking for thatch, stone, wood, oak wood, to be more precise. Secondly, spruce wood and cobblestone. I'm pretty sure we could probably expand this village. Ouch. Or we could just kill everybody. I mean... I'd rather not do that, because then none of them will ever trade with you again, by the way. Yeah, I know. I've messed with... i messed with Millionaire for a while. Yeah, Millionaire is pretty cool. I'm actually surprised it works. Like, Millionaire yeah. used to be one of the most incompatible mods ever, but now this is actually better than uh, Minecraft Comes Alive. Yeah, that is true. So Minecraft Comes Alive actually, you know, it introduces things like babies and stuff that the player could have. Ah, oh, shit, he's got a hand cannon. <laughs> I hear that. I'm just going to get in the house, man. Yeah, it fucking echoes. and it's, It sounds cool out here. It doesn't do that in the other one. The other place where... Oh, shit. I'm gone. Oh, we're... I'm gone. You didn't... You didn't... You... Oh shit, uh, fuck that. Do you hear him? Do you hear him? Yeah. Fuck that. Is he here? No. Where is he at? He's way over there. Don't forget, you do have Optifine. I don't even know what that does. Uh, you got like a zoom. It, it gives you um, better options on your graphics. Like you could disable each animation individually. Uh, you could completely disable rain if you wanted to. Oh, he's outside. Yeah, he is. Got a freaking cannon. It's just a laser. laser it's just a puny little laser. 
Cause he's a fire yeah, laser. laser. Gotta get that ten ore, man. Don't really see why, but okay. I'm going to make, cause we got a shit ton of wood, I'm going to make some charcoal. That would be a good idea. And I'm gonna start cooking ores. Mostly coffee. Where you can that noise out up there? What? Trespassers. Gosh darn. I think I'm, I'm gonna go up here and try and kill him. What is he killing? I think he's shooting. Oh, I think gone. he's shooting one of my guys. I think he just died. Sounded like it. No! The sheep is killing my golem! What the hell? Yeah, oh, he's yeah. dead. Mad he's dead. sheep. Yeah, mad animals. Uh, I'd say that there's like a freak ton of zombies coming your way. Why's that? Look out the window. What zombie? Oh, I don't see no zombies out there. I don't know what you mean. You're crazy. There ain't no zombies out there. I only see one, two, three, four, five, six, like maybe eight friendly villagers nearby. And they just they just want to borrow some sugar. Oh, that one is obviously a racist and is attacking my golem. <laughs> Darn inbreds. He's probably from Arkansas. Hey. Wait, are are you Arkansas or Canadian? Arkansas. Oh, I thought he was Canadian. Uh, no. Oh well, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear that you had that you have to suffer through our through, through our country's turmoil. I feel sorry that I have to suffer through stupid drivers and getting called a hillbilly all the time. I know. It's like I'm I'm not a hillbilly. I don't think I've it's had an not. issue with the hillbilly thing. I've had an issue with the stupid drivers every single day. Well, you know, I live right in the middle. Okay, so. Just for information, I live in literally the meth capital of the world. <laughs> the meth capital. Okay. Yeah, that's like the perfect way to explain where you live. I live, you know, where most of the meth in the world actually is sold and made probably as well. Who knows? Well, there's so many sketchy houses that's probably, that, that's basically what we all assume. Is that pretty much 95% of the meth made in America is from Arkansas where I live. Which, I don't actually live in a terrible neighborhood, it's more down the road a little bit for me. So. Yeah, that's that's how it was where um, I was before I moved to this place. And here, I mean, it's kind of sketchy, but it's not bad. Like, it's yeah. not as bad as what it was, considering I could literally sit on my front porch, my front porch at the other place and watch them sell it. And make it. So. Yeah. Just across the road from where I lived, they just made it. Like something that actually happened to me a couple of years back, uh, we heard this huge explosion and then we realized that the house down the street had blown up. <laughs> no, um, okay, on my wife's anniversary, mine and my wife's anniversary, best thing happened. So we were driving to Shreveport, you know, I'm sure you know what Shreveport is, right? Duh. Okay, good, because, you know, if you didn't know what Shreveport is, I would have to question your Americanality for sure. Um, we were driving to Shreveport. Well, they had part of the interstate cut off. And it was cut off for a long way, and they were trafficking everyone through this one town. And what was even worse is they forced you to turn in the town as well. They didn't let you go through the town. Like, what if you were just trying to go through the town anyway? No, they forced you to actually turn at the highway in, in the town. And I'm like, well, either we're all about to get quarantined and get told that we're zombies, or something really bad has happened. And let alone, on our way back, we saw this 18-wheeler still on fire. It's been hours. Like, hours. And the 18-wheeler's, like, still smoldering. It's been so long. Wow. And and then the same day, we drove by. There's this um, diner here called the um, Bell's Old South Diner. It burnt down the same day. Like the very morning it caught fire and burnt down. And it was wow. funny. It was just funny. Like everything caught fire on our anniversary. Well, I mean, I guess you could say sparks were flying. Oh, yeah. I still want to know why the um, 18 would explode. And then the night, like that night, um, buddy of mine, he was at Hooters. Um, and I didn't notice it like the next week when he told me at work. But he was at Hooters and like four or five SWAT vehicles went running down the interstate. You couldn't figure uh -huh. out why. Like, we still don't know why they were going. 
Our anniversary was just a very productive day, apparently. Well, like, in my case, so it was my first time going to the Texas State Railroad, which is, by the way, Bradley's favorite place on Earth. Yeah, I know. Um, it ain't too bad, but, I mean, it's not like... It, it's nice. I like it. I mean, I'm not going to say it's... Yeah, it's, 